Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Santa's Workshop. I was hoping to start out this video with a paint gun in my hand, but the day I planned to do it, it is nasty outside. The wind is a blowing. It's drizzling rain. And I'm wanting to put undercoating and primer on the underside of this car. And I want to get keep moisture out and not trap it in. So I want to have to put this off until the next sunny day. But that gives me a chance. We got the underside ready. It gives me a chance to get this firewall ready. And uh, I can prime it the same time I prime under here. And that way, I've got seven days after I lay down that epoxy primer to lay down my paint. So I'm going to try and get everything ready. That way I can do the primer, then I can do the undercoating, then the next day I can do the paint. And when I paint this, I'm going to be painting my motor block, the heads, the pan, and the timing chain cover. We're going to do it all in one shot. I'm going to mount it up on the block, spray it, take it apart. That way where the gaskets go, there is no paint. The only thing is, is I have got to really balance how I do this because of the fact that if I let it stay exposed too long, things are going to rust. So, that's going to be fun. I got to look and I think I'm going to paint to right here on this side. I was going to go ahead and wrap it around and do that here, but the paint I'm using here is a single stage, which is what I'm going to be using for the motor block. But this right here is going to be a base coat clear coat or for the rest of the car is. So I'm going to go ahead and save this to paint base coat clear coat so it'll match up with everything else. Got to go in here and clean up, get some of this stuff off here, get all this cleaned up. Whew. A lot of cleaning to do, but you know what? This thing is going to be phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. All right, let's get busy. All right, I cleaned up pretty nice. Now, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get me some pour 15 and get me a small paintbrush and go around these rust spots right here. Get those encapsulated in. Then we're gonna do uh, epoxy primer there, all underneath. Get it all sealed up. With it being as humid as it is today, I want to let it dry out a little bit before I do that. But another thing I did was I got the other body mount bolts. I had two of these that uh, the heads rusted off on it. Bolt itself was fine, but the heads rusted off. And I had two of them, so I got them taken care of. Oh, and I want you to look at this. 
That looks like that has been overheated big time. It has not. That is the dielectric sealer that they put in it back in 79. I'm trying to make up my mind whether or not to try to find another harness or to see if I can clean this one up. That is going to be interesting. Now I do have to get another harness for the back because there was a wire pinched right, right at the plug. So it's going to be too hard to, too hard to, to fix. So next time we, uh, next time I turn the camera on, we are going to be spraying some primer, hopefully some undercoating the same day and hopefully some color the day after. We'll uh, reconvene then. All right. Um, getting this block cleaned off. This thing has not been washed out yet. We're getting ready for assembly, so I want to try and get it, this paint scuffed down and get it prepared so I can get it in some uh, epoxy primer tonight. And then Thursday morning, I want to come back and paint. As you can see, I got my Moroso pan pretty well stripped down. I got used a whole can of a uh, paint stripper on it, and that's the best it did. I'm trying to get the water out of the inside. Get that thing scuffed out inside and get it all down. That's going to look nice. What I'm planning on doing is I want to set the pan onto the block, put the screws in the front and back. I'm going to tape off my oil deal, oil filter spot here. So this doesn't get painted, but I want to go ahead and paint all the way around the edge. I want to set the heads on it and get them painted. And I got a new, uh, oh gosh, I can't remember the name of it now, but a new time and chain cover. It's uh, It's got the reinforcement for the uh, cam button to keep it from uh, bending it out. But uh, I'll get that on there. But right now, we're just trying to get it scuffed down and get all the loose paint off. So that primer is going to hold. So let's get to it. got most of the sides of the block cleaned up now I'm planning on setting the heads on here and probably what I'm going to do is get this trimmed up and find me some old I, I've got some head gaskets okay what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to set the heads on here but I want to get me some old head gaskets and I want to cut out these pins, set those head gaskets on and set the heads on. Then I'm just going to put two bolts in on the inside of the galley to hold them on. And that way this will seal the valley. And then all I have to worry about is the intake side of the head and the, the, the exhaust. I want to get this trimmed up right here, and I just want to show you all how to trim this. There's two or three different ways you can do it. You can get a rubber hammer and tap this edge, and then just peel it off. I like to use my good sharp knife blade. Sometimes it works. 
really well. Sometimes it doesn't want to. You see how that's kind of folded there? What you could do with that, just peel it back and pinch it. And it gives it right to that edge. Now I still got to clean up the front part of this motor, but this way I don't have to worry about any more gunk getting down inside. I mean, this thing still has to be cleaned, so it's not no big deal. But the more I can keep out, the better I'll feel. Come on. Well, that 3M tape's getting better and better. There we go. Just getting started. Saw a video on prepping an engine to paint, and I really liked his uh, his thought process on it. He got a torch and heated the block, and not only does that you know help burn out any oils and stuff, but it also gets moisture out because cast iron is very very porous. But don't think I'm going to do that with this one just because um, I don't think I'm going to need to. And it might bite me in the you know what later on, but we'll worry about that bridge when we cross it. there's going to be part of this I'm going to have to trim once I get those heads on because those heads don't come all the way to this edge but I'll wait till I get those heads cleaned and put on here what we're going to do with the heads they've already been worked and I am going to go ahead and clean them as if we were going to assemble them or put them on and once this thing is painted, the paint sets up, I want to bag them and put them away. That way, they are ready to put on here when we assemble. Now, I know a lot of y'all are just saying, my gosh, get a rattle can and spray this thing. Uh, yeah, I could do that. But then it wouldn't be special, now would it? Okay. Well, there we go. Got that cleaned up. Got the new melodin on here. I got to scuff it down. I want to put me some tape right around this. Just stand it up. That way the seal has metal to go up against. Um, 
got to find my water pump gaskets. I put a piece of tape over this and cut them out. Get them exactly like we want it. Fuel pump, which this is just going to be plated. We're getting there. Okay, I thought I'd do a comparison. We did it with the pocket knife. Now we got us a rubber hammer. what we got now. <laughs> Didn't cut it at all. <laughs> That's kind of what I was figuring. But, now then, I did cut it in some places. We're pretty good using the knife and that. Okay. I still had to clean this up, so I'm probably going to have to redo that. But Okay. Looking a little better. I realized once I got the pans on there, or the pan and the uh, timing cover, that... Uh, I was going to have to plug all these holes. Don't you love tape that just wants to tear on you whenever it feels like it? Yeah. Really? So, what I want to do is I want to run me some tape on the inside of these holes. And that way, we don't have to worry about it. Man. I'll be glad when the tape gets past that spot. I don't know what the heck is going on there. There. That way the paint will get on the edge, but not all the way under. Okay, got the pan done. Now I yank that timing chain cover off there and do the same. All right. 
Another thing I need to do with this, get it scuffed down. And I remembered the name of this. This is a Milliden front cover. That you can see right there's the support for the cam button. I don't ex expect to be hitting it like a dirt track racer or a drag strip. I will take it down the strip a couple of times just to just to see what it'll do, have fun with it. This thing is mainly for road driving, cruising, and just sounding nice. This is easily accessible. I want to do my tape inside this. Some will say this isn't necessary. The pain will help seal it. But the thing about it is, if you paint down in here, it's going to make that seal harder to knock in. Plus, you're going to chip up the paint, and it is not going to last on that cover like it should. Okay, show off where we're at here. I got my water pump uh, deal done. I got a little bit closer inside, but once it's done painted, I can trim that off with a razor blade, no problems. Fuel pump, I wanna be putting a plate on that since I'm going all electronic. Got my seal area. You can see I got my tape over the holes in there so you don't have to worry about paint and building up in there. Then I used earplugs for all the other holes. And now I'm going to trim this up here. Okay, I'm gonna get a fresh razor blade for this one. We're using just the tip of the razor blade. They, uh, Wear out rather quickly. Uh. 
All right. Like I said, right here, make me a little cut. And this, we can just follow the edge. Oh, I got that clean. That tape is stuck. There we go. That looks nice. All right. Let's get back here. And as I said, these head gaskets are from the set that I put on that Corvette. And we're not going to be using these. They got wet and got rusted. So they're perfect for doing this. As long as I can quit riding up on them. Okay, let's see how well I did that one. There we go. Nice and pretty. We'll get this other side done. Then I'm going to be cleaning the heads, getting them set on there, getting a bolt in them. Or I'm going to do one bolt each end. And that way we can bolt the heads on, do the exhaust ports, the intake, throw a valve cover on it. Put my plugs in the bolts on heads or bolt areas on the end. And I think we will be ready to throw some paint on this thing. Get my little spot right here. There we go. Okay. We'll come back when I get the heads on it. Alrighty, I thought I'd show you what I'm doing on this intake here. What I did, I cut out the bolt holes for this. Then I slid it up as far as I could, held it down with a piece of tape. That way, I'll get the paint edge up as high as it, need, it possibly needs to go. And I can come over here.
on that edge. Okay. Now if we just go around. Alright, little pieces of tape here that you're done with, save them. Cut this little piece right here. and cover your bottles. And your intake is taped up. Okay, we're gonna get the exhaust ports, get our uh, valve covers on, do some more uh, earplugs in the holes and this thing will be ready to spray some primer and then paint and we're going to get it done tonight I don't care if I got to stay up till midnight it's going to get done all right about eight hours later lots of earplugs lots of tape as you can see on the floor I think we're ready to put some primer on it. Oh, I know I got that ready. Got some sheets hung up to keep that primer and paint and the undercoating off of my lift. I'm gonna try and keep it as nice looking as possible as long as I can. Um, I'm gonna spray the underside of it first. I'm gonna lower it down and get the uh, upper part of the firewall. That way, I'm going to do the color tonight. I can go ahead and spray, you know, just lower it down once and be done with it. But I want to sit, take a little break. I've got the paint gun out. I use a Vever paint gun that they sent me for a primer. And then I have got a, I believe it is a, uh, oh gosh. Can't remember the name of it now, but I got it from Harbor Freight. It's one of their highest priced ones. And that thing shoots phenomenal. But, I mean, I haven't never shot an HVLP 
of a high-end brand but I'll show you my old school setups over here and when I mean old school I'm talking to Vilbus Binks there's my Devilbus, my Binks, and of course the good old Binks number seven. Black Widow, that's the name of it. But that's a snazzy looking gun. But yeah, this thing sprays really well. That's what I shot the front of that Corvette with. But all right, well, I'm going to dig out my mask and get it ready. And we are going to get to spraying some primer. What do you think? I think I'm really going to like this color. Cap that thing off with a polished intake, gloss black accessories, gloss black and polished valve covers. Whew. I'm ready to hear that little baby purr. I want to show you something. When I had these heads redone, he went in and pinned all the studs for me. He said, for what I'm running, screwing studs are the best, but pinning is just as good. Now, these are 305 high output heads. Very, very small chambered, 53cc. So, with a standard... 8.75 to 1 piston, I should be getting close to 10 to 1 compression. So I can I can do pump gas and not have a problem. Hopefully. Let's go over here and check out the firewall. Firewall's looking good. Oh, can't wait till I get this whole car this color. Got this done. Now I can get the air conditioning unit cleaned up, repainted, put back in here. There's a plastic piece that goes across the top here. 
so you're not even really going to see this I just did it for coating you can see the rust pitting which I put um, I put pour 15 on it then I did epoxy primer over the top of that then I did enough top coat to protect it then we're going to put sealant over that so all right I want to get this untaped we're going to get the car in the air and we're going to attempt to put some undercoating under all right as you can see we got our epoxy primer underneath here all the way through don't that look pretty Woo. now I'm mainly going to be putting the undercoating under the floorboards getting it sealed up up to our line right here and that should be dry enough I should be able to put a piece of tape on it to keep it from flying up but I'm debating whether or not to um, get out the satin black and finish painting the underside or just leave it gray I mean it was a gray color to begin with Now you tell me, factories, <laughs> they used to fudge a little. All right. Now I want to see if I can mix up this daggum uh, undercoating and see what we can do. Okay, I don't know about y'all, that looks like the underneath of a new car almost. And I still got half of a five pound, I think it's five pound jug, maybe it's 25 pound, left. Kind of laid it on a little heavy right there, but that's just even more sound deadening. Oh my gosh, that looks good. I want to drop that down. Well, no, I got to bring the frame in. Never mind. Here, we'll do this. How's that looking up there? Whew. Let's 
get over here and look at this motor. I still got to pull the heads back off and get that tape out from underneath them and get them wrapped up, but I want to let it kind of set for a day or two. Let the uh, paint cure up. My gosh, is that not going to look beautiful in that car? I got ceramic coated headers. I'm going to powder coat. The tappet cover is black. I'm going to polish the fins on top. Got something special for the wording on top of it. He's going to have to hang in there and see. But guys, look at you. This was one. Uh, <laughs> this is a this is a long video to tape. I think I've been at it now for. Well, me and Austin started on the underside of the car Tuesday, and today is Friday. So, but I got it done. I got it motor painted. I got the firewall painted. I got the car undercoated. I'm going to roll the frame back in, and that's what I'm going to start on next week. Uh, weather's not going to be quite as good, but it's going to be nice enough I can get here in the shop and fire up a heater if I have to and get busy on that frame. I am so excited to get this going. I want to thank Jason S. for making the undercoating possible. Thank you, sir. You've been a blessing to me. You've all been blessings. I mean, please watch, subscribe, subscribe, share. Share it, share it, share it. Let's get YouTube's algorithm back up so we can start getting more views. But thank you all much. We'll see you next time on Santa's Workshop.